everybody, it's Shauna Holly Geek and you're, you're probably wondering why I'm bawling. Um, I just got done watching the Tudor, <laughs> the Tudor season finale. I feel like a dork because I'm bawling over it, but I, I can't help it. I, one of my friends online that I role play with, he, I play in a Tudor's game with him. He was like, well, why are you crying? The real person died a long time ago. A, a long time ago. I'm not crying over <laughs> the real person. I'm just crying over the series. The series is over and I'm very sad. I was very emotionally involved with the series and vested. So I, I told him, like I told him, I did the same thing when the OC and Dawson's Creek ended. I'll probably do the very, I bet you I will do the same thing when I keep on wiping my eyes because tears keep on coming out. Um, when Supernatural ends, I'm just, when I get emotionally involved, invested in a TV show, I tend to cry over it and this is no different. My reflections over the series finale, I'm very happy with it. I know some fans are going to be very happy with it, but I felt like they closed things pretty well. I, I, I cried when Charles died. That last me a scene between Charles and Henry, I forbid you from dying or something along those. I, I'm really bad with the remembering lines. Surprise, I'm an actress. But <laughs> right now it's not good. Just that scene made me lose it for when Charles died and that touching moment between Charles and Henry and um, <laughs> the I was surprised they didn't bring Catherine Howard back, but, oh uh, well. <laughs> uh, I think they didn't bring Catherine back because, I keep on looking over because I'm thinking off the top of my head, um, they didn't bring Catherine back because she, she didn't have a child for him. Catherine um, of Aragon, um, uh, Jane Seymour, Seymour, and, and um, Anne Boleyn, I'm, I'm just so all over the place emotionally. <laughs> emotionally, I'm like losing. I know that's not the order of the wives. Anne became, uh, came before Jane, but uh, yeah, I, I, I had a different idea of what they were gonna do with the wives at the series finale, but I'm, I'm happy they did it the way they did. Um, in reference to his children, and. I'm very happy they referenced the painting, the famous Hans Holbein painting, as well. And the the horse did did the horse represent death? That was my vibe. That last scene, the first scene after the credits, there was that white horse, and then towards the end, death was on the horse. That was my vibe. Um, and then, yeah, I, I was very pleased with the finale and. And they freaking bawled my eyes out, so. <laughs> Me being the Tudor's big Tudor fan. I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> next year around this time of year in April when there's no Tudors, but I have Supernatural still and True Blood, so. <laughs> I've got Tudor True Blood to watch for the rest of the season, so. At least I have that and Supernatural and a couple other shows. I'm gonna try to get into Vampire Diaries. I've watched a couple episodes, but I've been kind of shaky about that, so, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, I just thought I filmed my reaction, I just downloaded it today, the episode today, because I didn't put it on the website I visited, so, yeah, so, overall, uh, I really enjoyed the finale, I'm gonna miss it, really miss it, <laughs> I'm, I, I feel like a dork, totally crying, but I'm a dork, I admit I'm a dork, so, <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I'm laughing at myself because I the bald. I cried. <laughs> I feel kind of silly, but when you're that emotionally invested, like I said before, you're gonna cry when something you like ends. So that's all I have to say. So where are you? Wherever you are, have a good one. Bye.